All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, bro, we got a jam-packed show for y'all today, man. Uh, look, bro, we got a lot of regular content. We got a lot of fan-made content. When I'm talking about fan-made content, I'm just talking about content that you guys send in. I love adding y'all's content in. So just like just like we added my guy's content in on yesterday, man, where he was talking and saying stuff about 2K. If you want to do a Twitter thing like that, do it. If you want to do some stuff like some of the people today are going to do it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to see everything, man. Look, Make sure y'all send me stuff. If you see something, say something. You see somebody returning or somebody said something that's an outlandish take. The more outlandish, the better. Don't go making up no stuff, but yo, just send me the stuff, man, because anytime you send it to me, it has a good chance to making the news. You get to be a newsmaker or whatever you want to call it, man. So make sure y'all do that, man. Also, make sure y'all like the video because every time you like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100k and without further ado let's get the video underway listen man check it out man first off i gotta show y'all this man my homeboy anonymous 2k tv man like he here man stay on the channel man and he's just talking about uh look look check it out bow he just says look all the comp guards right now calling me a goat for this bop shaking my head biggest this game let's just check out what he's talking about man Nah, bitch, that nigga, I'm going right. <laughs> nah, bitch, that nigga, I'm going left. Oh, uh, I got him. I was skilled. Trades up. Ooh, ooh. Flash <laughs> That's what they call a cop right there. That's oh. a clip. That was... Oh nah, my God, man! And what he's talking about in that man is like on the comp scene right now. That's all you see is what what people are gonna call comp or call the best players and stuff like right now. It's like they it's left, right, left, right, left, right until you get open or until the person can just no longer keep up with you. And then you do it one more time and then you're able to come back and you get a wide open shot. And in a game where you already can't miss a shot, like he's just saying like that's that's just crazy that you could do that right there. But that's what's called comp. But when he try to when he tries to play the game in a straight up type of fashion and doesn't try to um and tries not to exploit the game, then he gets called trash. But that's what's comp. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those types of things, man. I never have understood it before uh, also, but I've always known that in 2K community, the higher you go up the comp ladder or the competitive ladder or, or the higher you go, it, it's just like since 2K16 uh, where they had the uh, tournament or what have you for the $250,000, right? The, the higher we went up that ladder, the more cheesy everybody played. So it was like nobody was playing the game anymore. It was just like the more you went up the ladder, the more people just stuck to the exploits that literally worked every time and stuff like that. And so I guess that's what he's trying to get across, get across uh, a, a little bit on that. Y'all let me know what y'all think though, man. Is is comp, is, does that what y'all call comp too? Like, like do y'all see it the same way or do y'all, or is it just like get a win any way you can? And, and I can respect that too. Or do y'all look at it like we look at, like I kind of how I look at it, where it's just like, bro, the better a player says they are, the more they really just stick to just the cheese. And that's really where we are with the game. And it's always been that way in 2K. I ain't got no problem with it. We just try to find a way to stop the cheese. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It is getting a little bit ridiculous out there, man. We're going we gonna to show y'all some stuff uh, later on. Up next, your boy Tacito. Tacito is bite. Y'all y'all see he didn't stream uh, two out of the last three nights or so like that. He had a, a wager against Chico. It says live now, but this was eight hours ago. So y'all know that he's really back streaming, man. And he actually has some thoughts on the game itself, man. We are going to let those play out and let y'all see what Tacino talking about, man. Go Once ahead, you get through two out of ten, gameplay wise, this game ain't bad. I I don't I don't know what people are saying about it, but I I don't think this game's bad. I'd give it at least like a seven, honestly. I think there's problems with progression and problems with rewards and all that, and uh, I still don't think the season thing is that good. But but yeah. And I think that's a pretty fair assessment, man. You know, problems with progression, problems with the season pass, problems with stuff like that. That's cool. Problems with the defense. It's something else that he should have said, man. But you know it is what it is. We know that this is an offensive heavy community. We know that we, we, the gym stars, uh, brute squad, all city guys, you know, people like that. We the only one. Laker fans, people, guys. 
we the only ones that really care about defense in the community. Assist gang, all those guys. You got a few communities in this whole 2K community that really care about defense. Everybody else wants it to be as easy as humanly possible for them to exploit the game and, and just do whatever they want to do. Like right there, Brew had a wide open three. Instead of exploiting that right there, man, he just said, I'm trying to go to the rim. I'm trying to go to the rim and dunk on somebody and take that ball to that. Right! Y'all already know what it is, man. So I get it. Everybody, but look, I don't begrudge anybody for how they play the game. I want you guys to play the game. Look at what point guard passed the ball like through trays up, splash down. Look, I don't begrudge anybody for how they play the game. I want y'all to play the game how y'all want to. If you playing cheesy as a mother, then play cheesy as a just do what you gotta do, and it's my job to try to stop it. I'm never, it's like what Laker fans said a little while ago. I'm never gonna try to pick on people for playing the game a way, in a way that the game allows them to play. I can't get mad at y'all for playing like that. I have to get mad at 2K for allowing people to play like that. You know what I'm saying? So it just is what it is, man. That's it. Hey, up next, man, this is one that, uh, you know what I'm saying? This is one sent in by one of our newsmakers, man. You know what I'm talking about? This is, uh, this is, uh, uh, Edlin, and she says she searched for the race, uh, searched for this race, uh, for the weekly winner. Do they even exist? And so, uh, she showed some pictures where, where she searched and, uh, it didn't pop up. Now, now, Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, had to put on my investigative reporting, uh, outfit, man. And, uh, you know what I'm talking about? I, 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 I went out there and I said, you know, I checked it out. Uh, it's a real person and he's on Xbox. So, it's a real person. They are on Xbox. Let me wake my Xbox up. Bow! It's a real person. They are on Xbox. It's uh, ZFGP, uh, Peevil. Peevil, I don't know how he says his name. I, I would say Peevil or what have you. So I responded to that and I said, yo, listen, it's a real person. And she was like, thanks. I'm just, I was just curious uh, how how did he get such an insane time? I was just like, look, bruh, I, I, maybe I should try to uh, interview him or something like that. And you know what I'm talking about? They want to interview him. But he did pop up also in the thing. He said, I'm on Xbox, sorry. And yes, it's legit. Not only uh, is it legit. And then uh, one guy says, uh, you know, I think it's saying that the winner would have 2K in his name, like like whatever. And then so he says, yeah, it's nothing nothing like that. Um, I, was, I was always known as people on Xbox and mainly playing 2K. So when I made my Twitter, I tried to put people and somebody already had it, had it. You know what I'm saying? Like they always did. Like it's, it's really Jerry's twin. It's, it's not Jerry's twin. It's really Jerry. But like I said, though, he said, um, he said, you know, he just added the 2K because that's the game that he plays. And, uh, you know, that's what, that's what we said. You know, that's what we put on the investigative report. But we went one step further in the investigative report because anybody can say that they real, you know, 2K could have made something up, blah, 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 yaggity, smaggity, all that good stuff. But I saw the name Z, uh, ZGF, which is which is uh, zero given. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a guy that we know he plays with pass a lot. So it's one thing for us to find out that he's a real person, but it's another thing. You know, I mean, 2K could have made up that tweet or whatever, but this is something that I don't think they could have did. Say, bam, bam, right there. There you go, ZFG, uh, ZFG P uh, Peevil right there. And he's playing with pass and y'all about to see, bam, he's a real person. So if y'all want to find out how he got what he got, the time and all of that good stuff that he got, man. Y'all can go to Pass Stream or something like that. It's uh, AO Pass on uh, Twitch or whatever. And you see he got the ZFG joint on, all that good stuff, man. So he's definitely a real person. It's not a fake. It's not a. Uh, it's not somebody. It's just that he just plays on Xbox. He's solely on Xbox. He does not play on PlayStation. And uh, you know what I'm saying? So that's cool. We got to the bottom of that. A little investigative reporting. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, yeah, yeah, there we go right there, man. So y'all, hey, look. Up next, you got your boy Ronnie2k chiming in on a little something, man. He says, people saying they're sad that NBA 2K20 is coming to an end when, when they were hating on it 18 months ago. And that is, bro, that's a fact right there, man. You know he got the thing up there, them guys fighting and all that good stuff, man. But that is a fact, bro. People were, people were hating on the joint uh, a few months ago, man. Uh, that, that's that's just how it was. They were hating on it, saying that that it's not a good game. It's not. It's not this. It's not that. And now, look where we are. And they sitting up with the bag over their head, man. Maybe I'm part of. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. They sitting up with the bag over their head, man. Because they like, hey, listen, my boy, you cannot, you can't 
do you can't do what people are doing, bro. You can't sit there and say that the game is bad, the game is terrible. But this is what people always do. We always hate on something, and nostalgia always kicks in. It's like what I always tell people. Listen to me. Listen to me. Y'all say that y'all love 2K16, and uh, and that y'all, you know, the, the like the way that y'all are complaining about whites going in right now, bro. Y'all would not have loved NBA 2K16. Cause ain't nothing but whites go in on 2K16. It was pretty rare to shoot greens. And guess what? You was missing the out of some greens on NBA 2K16. Uh, 16, you was missing greens left and right. Not even gonna lie. Left, right, and center. Uh, mostly whites went in. Uh, you know you had that you had in the beginning of the year, you had the the um what's his name? Um Jamal Crawford size up there would drop anybody. You had the joint where you could sprint to the corner and Curry back, like Curry step back into the corner and shoot. Bro, it was, it. look, listen, I know that those are the glory days and the glory days are always seem like they're better, but bro, like, come on, man. It's, it's, it had its problems too, man. Not even gonna lie to y'all, man. But it was an awesome game. I did have a lot of fun. Defense was there, uh, like going into the paint. Yeah, I know y'all hated going into the paint against us because we stripped the ball every time you went into the paint. Stuff like that, man. So, you know, it just is what it is. But I'm just saying, nostalgia always reigns supreme. Everybody always likes uh, what they had later uh, at another time, man. Up next, man, we got some, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all really the news that we got today, man. But now for some shenanigans. We got some 2K shenanigans going on, man. My boy Melvin Shelton sent this through, man. At first, I did not know what was going on, right? I had literally no idea what was going on, what he was trying to show us, what was happening. And then I, I checked it out again, and there's an invisible person on the court, bro. And it's like, get that shot out of here, man. Look at that, man. Shit out of here, nigga. Hey, man, like, look, I, th I thought he just blew the layup, bro. I thought he just bro, blew the... Damn. I, look at that. He under the goal. He under the goal, baby. see that nigga invisible, right? That's what I'm saying. He's invisible. And I'm just like, bro, look at that. Get that. Get that bullshit out of here. Like, I was just like, bro, that's crazy to me. And then they come back up the court. And he's like, bro, I really can't see this dude. And so you come back up the court. Watch this. Another one. Look at look at this right here. Look at that block by James. Boy, he brought by somebody that's completely invisible. Look at that. I thought that he just blew two layups at first, and then I read the caption, man, and that thing, that was like, like, look at that. You saw, I saw, I, I thought the other dude got that late, and then I got to looking at this thing, and I counted the people, and it's only one, two, three, four, five people on the court, and then you see, you see that there's somebody else out there, but you just can't see him, man. So the invisible person glitch is back, and he said not, I mean, and he said not only there, but then, like I said, like you said, we out here cheating now, man, and just look at it, bro. Like you got. You got the, you got the, uh, you got people out here. And like I said, you just, you can't even see the guy. And you probably gonna see him score a bucket or something like that. But it's just insane that, like, look, one, two, three, four, five. It's five people out there. The invisible person just inbounded the ball. And y'all can see that right there. Look at that. Invisible person running the baseline, inbounds the ball. I don't know if this is a glitch or if it's something that somebody actually did bro but like i said when you got an invisible person knocked up and you playing against them dog that is nearly impossible now that did happen sometimes in uh nba 2k 16 and 17 if you put on a certain mascot and 18 i want to say if you put on a certain mascot then that will happen to you but you know it is what it is man another one so so when you see something like that man we got man, come on 2k another come on 2k moment man it's from my guy uh, K, K Big, and he's just saying that this is just one of those where the dude literally, look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. Like, this is what we're talking about. The, I don't even think this can be argued. Y'all see the dude, he runs to the corner, and then, look, he comes straight back down. Runs straight into the man's chest. He not even tried, like, if they would take that part out of the game, left, right wouldn't even be a problem. But look at this, he goes up the sideline and runs, runs. he literally displaces him when he's, I don't even think that that could be argued. Like he, he's running straight into his chest. He cut him off. He can't really go anywhere. And then he runs straight back into the dude's chest, man. And then, like I said, look, another one, he runs into his chest, does a step back, and then he go to the rim on him, man. Come on, 2K. I ain't got no problem with the second one, but the first one, bro, where he runs straight into his chest, man. Come on, man. We got to do something like about that. And last but not least, oh, come on, 2K. We got Greg Grandison and, uh, let, bro, I'm just gonna let this speak for itself, man. Look at this, man. He come up in the warehouse, 
playing perfect defense. Okay, he got the bump. He shoots the ball. He misses. Look at him. Get the board. Pass it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look at this. How can you do everything right? You do everything right on the play. You know how hard it is to get a stop on this game. And then 2K just make you turn the ball over. He just give it back. Get back. Get back. <laughs> Bro, when I first saw this, I was crying laughing, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. I was crying laughing just because I was like, yo, how do you do every... This is so 2K. You do everything right, and then right there, boom. It just make you do that, man. Maybe you should have had on glue hands or something like that, bro. I don't know. It's just one of them things where, like, I I, I don't know how much of that I could have took, man. But that's all we got for y'all today, man. Listen, bro. I understand that we all get frustrated with this game, and it does get frustrating. I'm just trying to bring some levity to it, man. I want us to have. Keep sending me this stuff, man. Keep sending me this awesome content because I love this stuff, man. I like looking at it, going over it, dissecting it. Figuring out what's going on, man. And you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and just making it, making it see, you know, making it do what it do, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We found, we, we did, we did some good investigative reporting work today, man. Listen, Tysino is back. We saw what he said had to say about the game. Tysino back. We saw what he had to say about the game. We got assist gang out here. He, he's now the GOAT. He's now playing like a real comp guard. Finally, he finally got some dribble moves instead of what he been doing. You know what I'm talking about? We got a heck, a heck of a lot of come on 2K moments. And last but not least, we found the guy that is leading the race, man. If y'all do, if y'all find the, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, people, come on, man. Let's do an interview, man. Do an interview with your boy, man. Come through. Do an interview with your boy. Let us know how you got up there, man. I need to do some investigative reporting. I'm checking it out. Checking it out. Check, 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 checking it out. That's what I'm doing, man. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I got a brand new jump shot for y'all later on today, man. Um, I've been working hard on that joint, looking through bases, looking through stuff, see what looks good to me and 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 what I think y'all might uh can use and what's fast and what's uh, actually usable. A lot of people like 83. Some people didn't like 83 because it of uh, the off the dribble type of shooting does a little does a little pause it's hella fast for catch and shoot but for the off the dribble it's a little bit tougher man so you know it is what it is man so look we're gonna find y'all another jump shot if we can get this video to 5,000 views then you know before the end of the day we'll get y'all the jump shot anyway i gotta get up out of here man hope y'all enjoyed the video uh keep sending me the content man if you didn't make it today i promise you're gonna make it tomorrow and uh don't even worry about it because we're gonna get everybody in here and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time man it's investigative reporter jay easy signing out it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop he came to people's shop guys speak.